thanks for clicking on this video welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are clicking on a video of mine um i generally just upload weekly vlogs but every now and then i throw in little extra videos grocery hauls shopping hauls or oh, my very first one today is i am in my garage about to basically clean out and sort through my freezer um i only have this freezer which is a higher sense upright no 280 liters um i love it it has been the best purchase we have one of the best purchases we have made but um oh battling with my tripod here um <laughs> um i got something out of the freezer for um tea the other night to heat up and it had a little bit of a, a funny taste so i'm like i think it's time for me to clean out the freezer see what i've got in there what can go out and um what i can put into the meal plan for um the next coming weeks so that's what i'm doing today and i've decided to do it today because it is a bin day and i can put everything into the bin so um it might not look too much different by the end but um let me get started and i'll show you everything that's in there and what i'm not keeping and what i'm keeping <laughs> Well, so far I have just taken out what is in the top two shelves and I might just do it um, drawer or shelf by shelf. So, because they top two are just shelves, although this, uh, uh, these do close down um, to close them off like that. But I just pick them up because mainly I do keep bread in those two top shelves but um and then all the rest of them are just drawers and that's obviously the ice one which i don't use for ice because i never come out here just to get ice but anyway that's those two shelves and this is what was in there this is everything that was on those top two shelves um so country crisp chicken strips say that quickly <laughs> um i've just got these from work literally like last week so um they are fine i know they are um also these gourmet beef burgers are totally fine i got them um from work at the end of last year these are marinated chicken drumsticks um <laughs> The freezer is a beeping so let me close that while i film this bit otherwise it's gonna keep beeping um the marinade is still like so squishy and i honestly can't remember how long ago um i put them in there so um they are going to not make the go back in the freezer cut <laughs> they are going to go into the bin um better to be safe than sorry the beef lasagna is fine. Um, this slow cooked beef burnt brisket ends. That's before 22, which I froze it straight away, but it's now 2024. Um, I should have used it long ago. And I really don't think it's going to be any good. These are Costco muffins that I have cut in half. So I'm going to just pull those as, what is there, five out, keep them out of the freezer and um, we'll eat those over the next couple of days. Some ice cream that 
it's almost empty um it, it will be fine um oscar can have that because that's the one he likes um diced beef that's fine also um these are chicken well the top two are chicken lasagnas which um shane and i will still eat them porcupine balls and mash um that hasn't been in there all that long either so that's fine to go back in sausage mince is also fine to go back in <laughs> this is my freezer stash of this chocolate oh caramel top deck i'm pretty sure well it says special edition pretty sure you can't get that anywhere so that's my stash for in the freezer and i'll just pull some out when i want some i recently also bought these so they can also just go back in the freezer I'm just going to pull this whole drawer out because I'm pretty sure everything in here um, is fine to stay in the freezer. I've now decided that I'm giving up on the tripod because you're just seeing the back of me. But I'm going to go through um, drawer by drawer this way. Um, so welcome to the inside of my freezer. <laughs> um, my ice latte drumsticks just new to the freezer. Also puppy dogs are new to the freezer um some party pies i'm pretty sure there's another pack maybe in here too so i might combine them together um those are fine shredded ham i can't see a date but that should be fine a Turkish roll. <laughs> oh, two little zipper doopers, which normally go in this little icebox drawer. So I'm going to put them in there. Hot dogs. Um, <laughs> these were used by 2021. So. I feel bad about throwing this food out because food is so expensive, but I'm not going to risk it. So in the bin they go. Ice cream. Peas and corn. And also steam fresh side baby potatoes with corn, and uh, not corn, carrots, broccoli and peas. So... They are fine. that drawer doesn't feel like it's fitting in properly but um that was what was in that drawer so moving on to the next drawer i have a one single ice cream which i'm going to put with the zuper dupers that is a chocolate raspberry brownie i have some turkey slow bread <laughs> Um, these I recently just bought as well. Wedges. Diced chicken breast that was recently purchased. Hot uh, Southern Style. So that's a second packet of them. So I'm going to put those together. Sorry about the beeping, but... It's just going to keep beeping. Oh, I thought I was completely out of brioche buns. So this is a super handy reason why I need to sort this out. This is um, corned beef that I cooked in the slow cooker that I'll use to make a um, corned beef pie. So I'm going to keep that out, defrost it and make the pies. Oh, 
I am usually pretty good at writing um, labels on top of these, but these ones I haven't, so I don't actually know what they are. But um, they haven't been in there all that long, so they are fine to eat. Chicken breast topped with garlic and herb butter. That is still fine. <laughs> um, this is expired in 2021. So that is a no. I'm not risking that. In the bin that goes. <laughs> Two random potato cakes. Chicken tenderloins. Lamb chops. Chicken breast. Oh, yay. A Costco mince. My last Costco mince. <laughs> so that is totally fine to have as well. There's another pack of lamb chops. I knew there was three in there. Oh, we have... <laughs> We've got a stray on the loose. Here he comes. He um, He's looking a little sad, but this little dino nuggy is going in the bin. <laughs> Sorry, dino nuggy. He obviously escaped the bag. And these are hash browns. So I'm going to put them in this top drawer. And this gives me one whole empty drawer. So that is now empty. Um, what will I make this straw? I'm going to start putting it, the meats and stuff in this one. So I'll put chicken breast and the lamb chops. I'll put the diced chicken back in there along with these chicken. There must be like a... Filled with garlic and herb butter topped with cheese. They are just like a um, Kiev, I would say. And my next straw. <laughs> I'm going to flip you around and show you this straw. So this straw is uh, cracked because Oscar um, opened it and it slid out and cracked. So you really need two hands for this one. So... I'm going to go through what's in here, but I just want to show you that we do, we do, we have been meaning to um, contact Hyacinths and see if we can buy a replacement drawer um, or try and glue it together somehow. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that beeping as well, but I probably should work out how to shut it off. So in that broken drawer, I've got another packet of these, um, Chicken tenders, which I'm going to stick there. I have these, um, they're the Aldi party pies, but I'm going to join them together with these ones. So I'll put those in the box together. Hash brown stars, I'm going to put them in this straw here with the other bags of things. Potato gems. I'll also put those in that drawer. Chicken fingers. I'm also gonna put those in that drawer. Oh, this, oh big bad boy is a massive chicken um 2.71 kilos and that has probably been in there about nine months so i'm going to pull this out and um cook this one up and i'll just use it for um sandwiches um or and pasta bake that's what i'll do with that i'm running out of room here <laughs> You'll see on the um, 
weekly vlog that I was procrastinating in the garage about um, setting up the big table and now I have regrets that I didn't do that. <laughs> um, these were sausages that um, someone gave us and we didn't like them but we put them in the freezer and I was going to give them to my brother but they've been there for so long, probably over two years so in the bin they go. Um, likewise with these little hot dogs, have been there for so long. Diced ham expiring in 2021. So I feel so bad <laughs> and I especially feel bad because I watched Kelly um, from the Frugal Fun Mums freezer clean out and she was so good at using up her little bits and pieces and here I am just aimlessly tossing the food into the bin but I am keeping stuff that is within a reasonable use by date so um that's my um <laughs> that's making me feel a little bit better about it but um I've also got two lots of bacon which I'll put in with the meats And I'm going to put these in the bin. And I now have another empty drawer. So I'm onto my bottom drawer now. I just purchased these at Aldi and bagged them up. So they'll go into the meat drawer as well. Also, just a recent purchase was this silver side, so that will go into the, the meat drawer as well. I have these um, chicken Kiev balls, so I'm going to put them into this drawer where all the packet things are living. And there's the box for them, they obviously come out of the box with chicken tenders that are in there, so I'm getting rid of the box. Putting them into the drawer packet. <laughs> I did forget I put this to the side, this little drawer, but I have more frozen veggies, peas, corn, capsicum. We've got in there um, little chicken drumsticks, they can go in the meat drawer. I snapped this up really quickly. A um, dollar eighty nine for five hundred grams of um, free range chicken mince, um, and put that straight into the freezer. So it is perfectly fine. It still had one day left on it when I bought it. I found a couple more stray zuper dupers, so they'll go in the zuper duper drawer. Two um, of these chicken parcels, so they can go in the meat drawer. And a Turkish um, roll, and that is that empty. If this one needs a clean out, so I'm going to wipe it before I put anything back in that one. I found another potato cake, so I'm going to find that other potato cake and put the three of them together. No, it must be in here. It is. So I'll put those together. And that will be a lunch for either Shane or I. We just chuck these in the air fryer. have three more um, dishes which they are probably butter chicken or chicken curry which will still taste fine 
so put those there and the last thing in this drawer is um, these samosas which they come with a sauce oh chutney <laughs> I never ever knew that there's a chutney inside here it says medium heat they are pretty hot they like these at all um, you know like Indian samosa things, samosa things. <laughs> I like them Shane doesn't but um, and then these are like spinach and ricotta triangles so that there is uh, the bottom drawer cleaned out which I think I'm gonna put all of my box type things in this one so oh, my Costco mints I'm so glad I have one of them because I've been wanting to make spaghetti bolognese but Shane only likes the Costco mints so I'm needing to get back to Costco and put the coffee dogs in there my ice latte so all the boxings are going to be in this bottom drawer And I have ice cream, <laughs> so I'm going to put that in here, but I do need to wipe this out, but I'm going to sit that in there and I will wipe that out. So <laughs> I've got all of these things on my ironing board to put back in. I thought I was doing great with the um, freezer <laughs> organization and then realized I have all of this to put away. Um, so that'll be my next job now. So I still have a lot of space left, so <laughs> I'm not completely at a loss. Um, as I said before, this shelf and this shelf is where I like to have my bread. Um, so I have room for six loaves, um, three on each shelf in here. So, and then I can also put stuff at the back. So I think I'm gonna put all of my ready-made meals um, at that back shelf there. Well, that plan backfired pretty quickly because <laughs> I mean, it backfired pretty quick because I can only fit two across there and I still have another three to go in. But um, I might just put them in this drawer once I've cleaned that out. It's just got a few crumbs and things to clean out, so. So I had four of the um, patties, pies left. So I'm putting them into this box and then they can go in the freezer. And I'm hoping it all fit just on top there. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to wipe this out too. Alright, that's all cleaned out now so I can continue loading that up. I've still got <laughs> a little bit to go. Um, this is going to stay out for me to cook up. Some of the muffins, this needs to be stashed. Um, I was going to keep that out, but I need to check whether I've got puff pastry first before I do so. I might not get it out just yet. I might stick that in here. But my chocolate is going to get stashed. Um, it needs to go here. Um, so that's where I'm stashing it. Here behind when I get bread. 
for when I get to LD. That will be safe behind there. I do have another drawer with packet things, but I just bought these from work as a one-off because um, <laughs> we had them in Warnable from the kiosk and they were so delicious, but they are so expensive. They are like um, $20 for the bag. So I got some for me and my sister. Um, so she had no room in her freezer. So she <laughs> said, can I keep them here? So um, she's taken one bag and one bag is still here and the other two are mine but we will um use those up and then we'll have that space also gonna put these burgers in there and i have these three which one hot and spicy and two southern style gonna put this sausage mince in this drawer and now <laughs> um, I just have the muffins I'm keeping out and the chicken I'm going to keep out to defrost to cook and I'm going to put this diced um, beef back into the freezer So I have cleaned that out now and I'm going to put, um, these are chicken Alfredo lasagna. So I'll put that in there because we will have that for um, one night next week. And then I'm also going to put the ice cream in there and hopefully these Turkish breads. And oh, one pack of brioche buns. I'm actually just going to put them here because maybe that's going to be my new spot to put some of the brioche buns behind the loaves of bread. <laughs> so it is successful that I have resorted. Um, I've got a whole heap of stuff in the bin. Um, and stuff to um, yeah, take inside when I go but let's just have a quick look what I've now got in the freezer so um, the top two shelves are very empty because that's where my bread lives um, but I will fill it up with bread tomorrow um, this is just for the zooper dupers that's where I need to keep them in here is those frozen meals ice cream Turkish bread packet um, items so either veggies or air fryer things all of my meats are in here I've got a whole drawer full this one if I can get it with one hand um, is kind of bits and pieces of stuff that I need to um, use up and this is all the box things It is now the next day and I am just popping it back on to show you um, where my bread sits in there. So I have got my loaves um, from Aldi and then I did get some more brioche buns and a stick in behind there as well. So the one that I already had and I got two more. Um, so yeah, that's how my six, six loaves <laughs> um, fit up in there. Um, this one actually isn't an LD one, but I got that from the bakery, so. Um, but yeah, they all put it in, but I'm happy with um, my freezer sorting. It's going to be easy to find. I now know everything that I've got in there, and um, happy freezer days. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you on Monday.